If you live in an at least moderately sized city, you probably see these on the streets. Lots of bikes parked on the street, ready to be rented for a relatively cheap price for a set amount of time. These can usually be rented with a sleek mobile app, charging your bank card as you end the ride. This trend hasn't missed my home city of Prague, Czech Republic. In this video, I will write all the Prague bike sharing services, give them a brief review and give you my honest opinions on them. Before the video starts, please consider subscribing. It's free and it helps out a ton. Thanks and on to the video. Rekola was the first bike sharing service to be launched in Prague. And so, we're gonna look at it first. Rekola is a homegrown Czech startup which launched its services in the city in the year 2014 with a fleet of old, refurbished manual power bicycles. This is also why the company is named Rekola, with the prefix RE symbolizing the reuse of old bikes and KOLA meaning bicycles in Czech. In Prague, Rekola operates about 1000 bicycles, dispersed all over the city. Today, 10 years after Rekola's beginning, the project has turned from a small, mostly cycling enthusiast run project to a nationwide bike sharing service, offering regular manual power bikes, but also e-bikes and scooters in certain regions. Enough background, let's get to the ride. Renting a bike is quite simple. I just open the app, point my phone's camera at a QR code located in the bike's basket, and then the bike's lock automatically opens. Rekola's bikes feature a Dutch step-through frame, meaning that you ride it sitting upright. As someone who sometimes gets back pain from riding regular bicycles, I appreciate this design choice very much. After opening the lock, as a 195cm, 6 foot 5 tall person, I usually adjust the seat height and then I'm ready to go. While riding, Rekola's bikes feature a 3-speed transmission, allowing you to adapt to the terrain you're riding in. This definitely comes in handy if you're cycling somewhere like Vinohrady, where inclines are plentiful. The chains of the bike are also protected by chain guards, allowing you to ride in loose clothing without risking it getting caught in the chains. Rekola's bikes also feature braking by pedaling backwards and a pedal-powered headlight. After getting to your destination and making sure that you're parking in a spot where you're allowed to by checking the map inside of the app, you simply lock the bike's lock and your ride automatically ends. For this journey, I paid a grand total of zero Czech crowns. Since Prague offers two free 15-minute bike sharing rides per day for holders of a public transport pass, I didn't have to pay anything for this ride. Normally, a 30-minute ride costs 35 Czech crowns or about 1.39 euros. Rekola offers multiple subscription options for regular riders, such as a 4 times 30 minute ride package per month, which costs 59 crowns or 2.35 euros per month. The highest subscription tier is premium, which offers unlimited 30 minute rides at a cost of 249 crowns or about 9.9 euros per month. Overall, I quite like Rekola. It's a convenient service, their bikes are usually well maintained, although I have encountered issues with their bikes before, and the price is affordable, especially if you already have a public transport pass. Now, let's look at Rekola's main competitor, Nextbike. Unlike Rekola, Nextbike is not of Czech origin. The company was started in Leipzig, Germany in 2004. Over the years, it has expanded to numerous countries, which included the Czech Republic in 2019. However, the service arrived in Prague one year later, in 2020. Similar to Rekola, Nextbike has over a thousand bikes in operation in Prague, all of which are manual powered. The company is experimenting with electric bikes in certain regions. However, Prague is not one of them. Like with Rekola, the rental process is very simple. You open the app, point your phone's camera at a QR code on the back of the bike, and the bike lock opens. Unlike Rekola, you also have to confirm that you actually want to rent the bike in the app. Like with Rekola's bikes, the bikes thankfully feature a Dutch-style step-through frame design, allowing for very comfortable riding while sitting upright. In comparison with Rekola's bikes, next bike bikes look heavier, but more sturdy. One very welcome feature are the chain guards, which prevent stuff like loose clothing from catching in the bike's chain. These seem to be present on all, or at least most of Nextbike's bikes. Nextbike bikes also feature this back wheel mud guard, which is usually taken up by advertisements, providing another stream of revenue for the company. Another difference between Nextbike and Rekola is the transmission. 
Recula's bikes have three speed transmissions, while next bike bikes have seven or eight speed transmissions. Also unlike Recula, next bike bikes don't allow you to brake by pedaling backwards. After getting to where you're going, you just park the bike in a spot where you're allowed to, lock its lock, and the ride automatically ends. Similar to Recola, I paid zero check crowns for this ride, taking advantage of Prague's free bike sharing ride scheme. Normally, a 30 minute ride will set you back 35 check crowns, or about 1.39 euros. Next bike also offers subscriptions. There are two subscriptions on offer, a monthly unlimited subscription and a yearly unlimited subscription. The monthly subscription costs 189 crowns or 7.5 euros and the yearly one costs 1149 crowns or 45.7 euros. However, if you are a student, you get a discount on the monthly membership. Also, if you are a member of IKEA's loyalty program, you get a discount on all the memberships. Overall, I quite like Next Bike. From my personal experience, the bikes are well maintained, the price is affordable, especially if you already have a public transport pass, and the bikes are readily available almost everywhere in the city. I believe that bike sharing has a bright future in the city. However, one critical flaw of the systems is the lack of bike infrastructure in most parts of the city. According to Rekola CMO Jan Strecha, the largest portion of Rekola users are men aged 25 to 30. This is not surprising at all considering that Prague lacks bike infrastructure in most of the city and cyclists usually have to ride side by side with cars. For people like me and other young people as well, this may not seem like an issue, but for other, less, let's say, brave people, the lack of infrastructure discourages them from using bikes as a mode of transportation. In the future, I hope that we'll see deployments of bike infrastructure around the city to promote healthy, sustainable and almost silent transportation. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching to the end, you're a real legend. If you'd like to see a sequel to this video, this time about the e-bike sharing and e-scooter sharing services of Prague, please let me know in the comments. If you'd like to support my work, I have a Ko-Fi page with three membership tiers, all of which bring you sweet benefits, like early access to my videos. There are also affiliate links to the equipment I use to make these videos in the description. Any help would be greatly appreciated. I'd also like to take this time to thank Monday's Last Brain Cell and Aero Martian for supporting the channel with the top membership tier. I'm extremely grateful for the support. Enjoy the bloopers. This has been Tramley and I'll see you next time. Bye. This trend hasn't my as someone who gets bro. For people like me and other young people as well, this may not seem like an issue, but for other speaking English, pronouncing words in English, bro. I mean, what? <laughs>